Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of measuring angles. This is standard 4.7c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 25 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a protractor, let me spell that out for us. That is a tool that we use to measure angles, just like we use a ruler to measure length, or we might use a scale to measure weight. We're gonna use a protractor to measure angles. And we need to find the measure of angle RST. Now, they label it like this because we see that we've got three different letters here, R, S, T, and whenever we see those three angles, those three letters in order, that's going to give us our angle. And it's this central letter that's going to give us our vertex. So the vertex, that's actually the angle that we're looking for, that S right there. So if we think of like moving down from R, coming down to S, and then coming up to T right there, that's what we're looking for is that angle right there. Now there's three different types of angles. We have acute angles, we've got right angles, and we have obtuse angles. And well, everything revolves around our right angle. It's 90 degrees, it is a square corner. We have perpendicular lines, straight up and straight across. Usually we put a little square there. Think of like a capital L. So acute is anything less than 90, anything less than that square corner, smaller. And I'm kind of thinking that's what our angle is going to be because that definitely looks smaller because if we were to go straight over like this, this would be a 90 degree angle because there's my 90. So this is a square corner. It's definitely smaller than that. So we're looking for something less than 90. Obtuse is going to be greater than 90. So anything that is kind of larger looks something like that. So honestly, even just doing that, we can get rid of C 130 simply because we know that our acute angle needs to be less than 90. Now I'll show you where the 130 comes from. They are taking that inside number, but that inside number starts with zero over here. So if I were to draw a line over here, this would be 130. But we're not measuring that because we don't have any line on the zero. So we have to do something a little bit different. What we need to do is we need to, either inside or outside, we need to take the number here and subtract 90, because 90 right there is the same on the inside and the outside, because it overlaps there. So we need to just basically find the distance. So let's take the outside here. So we will say 90 and 50. So if we were just to subtract 90 minus 50, Oops, let's make sure we write it correctly. There we go. 40, because if we take the, the outside, we're going to skip count by 10s, 10, 20, 30, 40. We can also take the inside if we really wanted to. Just make sure we put our largest number first. 130 minus 90. That also gets us 40. 10, 20, 30, 40. So when you don't have a number on the zero, you need to just subtract two numbers. And so that's going to get us our 40. Now, where do these other numbers come from? These, the 80? Well, take a look at this. Take a look at these two right here. On the inside is 130, and on the outside is 50. So 130 minus 50, that's going to get you 80. Now, that doesn't really make any sense but just taking the two numbers there. But if you really have no idea what you're doing, I could see at least taking those two numbers and subtracting, but we don't want that. And 80 degrees is almost a 90 degree angle. I mean, it's, it's pretty close. And this is not that big. So we definitely don't need that. And then 40, maybe we just, we just subtracted, or this 50 is probably when we just either subtracted incorrectly or maybe we just took that 50 and we didn't do anything with it. But 40, that's what we're looking for. Our answer is A.